new LLM by NVIDIA, which is combining transformer LLM and Mamba architecture. It's very good, very fast. This is the best model by its size, 9 billion parameters. So let's see how this new architecture that combines quadratic attention and Mamba works. NVIDIA Nemotron Nano 2 is a cutting edge 9 billion parameter reasoning model that brings enterprise grade AI capabilities to edge devices to your phone or laptop, not phone necessarily, but uh, released on August 18th yesterday. It uh, represents a breakthrough in efficient AI deployment with its hybrid transformer Mamba architecture. Finally, Mamba is getting actually used in production. This is so surprising to me. Finally, we are getting rid of the transformer. We are overcoming it. Finally, it's been so long. What makes it so special? Six times faster throughput compared to similar size models like Quen 3 8B. Configurable thinking budget to control reasoning depth. 128K context length capability. Optimized for edge deployment. Runs on a single NVIDIA A10G GPU. I guess you can run this with less than 8 uh, gigabytes, maybe even 4 gigabytes or 5 gigabytes. The main problem with attention and transformer is it's comparing each token to each other token. So if you have 1000 tokens, there is 1 million comparisons and 10,000 tokens, it balloons to 100 million comparisons. There is also issue with memory. As it generates new tokens, it needs to store K and value pairs for each new token so memory grows linearly. You have 1000 or 10,000 or 100 or not, not 100, but maybe, yeah, you have 100,000 KV uh, values if you have 100,000 tokens in your context window. Enter Mamba, the selective state space revolution. State space models approach sequence processing from a completely different angle. Instead of comparing every token with every other token, SSMs maintain a compressed state that evolves as they process the sequence. Think of it like reading a book. Instead of constantly rereading every previous page to understand the current one, you maintain a mental model that updates as you progress, so you have some summarized version of the book as a mental model. This actually makes sense to do in large language models as well. You don't need to remember every single thing you read. Mamba 2, the specific SSM used in Nemotron Nano 2, takes this concept further with selective state spaces. It can dynamically decide what information to retain and what to forget, much like how human memory works. We don't remember every detail of every conversation, but we retain the important bits that matter for the understanding. Linear complexity, the game changer. The revolutionary aspect of Mamba 2 is its linear time complexity. While transformers need quadratic time and memory relative to sequence length, Mamba 2 scales linearly. Processing 10,000 tokens takes only 10 times the resources of processing 1,000 tokens, not 100 times resources. This is linear scaling, this is um, quadratic scaling. This efficiency makes it possible to handle the extensive reasoning traces that advanced AI applications require. So this allows it to have a very, very long reasoning. Furthermore, Mamba 2 maintains consistent memory per token. There's no growing cache that accumulates as the sequence extends. Each new token requires the same amount of memory regardless of how many tokens came before it. This characteristic is crucial for deployment on edge devices where memory is precious. So you can have very long reasoning paths on edge devices. The hybrid architecture, best of both worlds. The strategic integration. Nemotron Nano 2's hybrid architecture isn't simply a mix of transformer and Mamba layers. It's a carefully orchestrated arrangement where each component plays to its strengths. The model consists primarily of Mamba 2 layers, which handle the bulk of the sequence sequential processing efficiency. These layers excel at maintaining context over long sequences and generating fluent coherent text. So it seems like Mamba 2 layers are the base. Interspersed strategically throughout the architecture are what the researchers call attention islands. Selective transformer layers that provide crucial capabilities 
Mamba alone cannot match. These attention layers act like bridges, creating connections between distant uh, pieces of information that might be thousands of tokens apart. While Mamba 2 excels at processing sequences efficiently, it has limitations when it comes to making sudden uh, content-based connections. Consider a reasoning problem where the model needs to connect a fact mentioned at the beginning of, of a problem with a constraint introduced much later. Pure SSMs process information sequentially and might struggle to make this uh, leap instantly. The way I understand it is SSMs uh, pay kind of most attention and are most aware of the recent tokens, not so much far away beginning tokens. But attention sees all tokens at once, so uh, it can connect with the beginning tokens. The attention islands solve this by providing moments where the model can survey the entire landscape of information at once. Yeah, that's why it has quadratic scaling. I actually had a similar idea. Uh, attention has quadratic scaling, but you don't need to actually compute or check everything against everything. A lot of that is wasted. So you can just find things that are actually important to check uh, each other against and not check everything against everything. It's like having a bird's eye view at crucial junctures in the reasoning process. These layers can instantly connect related concepts regardless of their distance in the sequence, ensuring that important relationships aren't missed. The creation of uh, Nemotro Nano 2, 9 billion from its 12 billion predecessor represents a masterclass in model compression. Rather than simply removing random parameters, NVIDIA employed sophisticated neural architecture search. This is crazy. So these things are getting useful as well, I see. Now everything is all of a sudden getting useful. <laughs> all of the random research everybody did. To identify the optimal configuration that maintains accuracy while fitting within memory constraints. The compression process examined multiple dimensions simultaneously. The depth reduction for uh, 62 to 56 layers was carefully calibrated to prevent significant accuracy degradation. So they reduced 62 to 56 layers. Each layer type, whether Mamba or Attention, was evaluated for its contribution to the model's capabilities. Okay, so they evaluated each layer individually with optimization. Beyond reducing layers, the compression also optimized the width of the model, the number of channels, the size of the feedforward networks, and the number of Mamba heads. This multidimensional optimization ensures that every parameter in the final 9B model earns its place through meaningful uh, contribution to performance. So they just try everything and then pick the best configuration with minimal number of parameters. So they just identified and removed redundancy while preserved important uh, path pathways and parameters and reduced the model size by 25%. So with this efficiency, with just 22 gigabytes of memory, it can load 128,000 tokens, which is absolutely crazy. It can load entire books and uh, lengthy code bases. This is it. This this is it, bros. This is this is the. There is no so hard of a wall in AI. More of these advancements and these random research people have been doing is gonna uh, come together. So it's six times faster than a, a comparable transformer only model. They also have this multi-stage training process. And we now see more improvements in this multi-stage training processes where there is more and more separate parts in pre-training and mid-training. And the architecture's unique characteristics required innovative training approaches. The model underwent multiple training phases, each optimized for different aspects of its capabilities. The initial pre-training on 20 trillion tokens established the foundational knowledge and reasoning patterns. What do you mean the initial pre-training? How is 20 trillion tokens just initial? This is huge amount of tokens. 
utilizing FPA precision for efficiency. This is, they took this from DeepSeek, I'm pretty sure. I mean, everybody took it from DeepSeek. Post-training alignment. The post-training process uh, combined multiple techniques, supervised fine-tuning, group relative policy optimization, direct preference optimization, and reinforcement learning from human feedback. They got it all. Each technique was chosen to complement the architecture's characteristics. Particularly innovative was the inclusion of deliberately truncated reasoning traces during training. This taught the model to work within thinking budgets, making its reasoning process controllable and predictable, a crucial feature for production deployments. The success of Nemocho Nano 2's hybrid architecture challenges the prevailing wisdom that bigger transformers are always better. It demonstrates that architectural innovation can deliver superior efficiency without sacrificing capability. Uh, this opens new research directions focusing on specialized architectures for specific tasks rather than one size fits all approach. So 92% of layers are Mamba 2 or FFN and 8% are self-attention, which is so few. So uh, the 62 layer model follows the specific pattern shown in figure two. This is the figure two. We got Mamba FFN pair uh, consecutive and then Mamba attention and then these three. So each of these is one layer. So Mamba 2 is one layer, FFN is one layer, and you got three of these, and then six of these, one of these. If you add them all up, you get 62. The attention layers are evenly dispersed throughout the model depth rather than clustered, which helps maintain long range dependencies while benefiting from Mamba's efficiency. So there is 128 total Mamba heads in the 12 billion base model, there is base model and then there is later 8B model, organized into eight groups. Each head has a dimension of 64, that's kind of low, state dimension of 128 for the selective state space model. So more about Mamba heads, they project matrices, uh, use these project matrices to project input. Heads are organized in a group aware manner, meaning heads within each group share certain computational patterns. This model dimension 5000 is quite big. And then FFN dimension 20,000, this is, this is ginormous. We got grouped query attention. This is also same for three years. There is no advancements in this. So 40 query heads and eight KV heads, and they are grouped five queries per one uh, KV. I don't really understand Mamba design as well. I need to understand it better. But this is such a good idea. I like it a lot. I'm gonna also learn how to code Mamba and maybe train it as well. Now I'll be able to train maybe even two times bigger model on the same GPU if I use this design. Thank you for watching. Check out other videos on my channel and uh, see you next time.